in our last lecture we have discussed join and different types of join in detail with examples in today's session we will perform different tasks related to join in sql so we have different tasks given we will apply these tasks on sqlite sample database which is chinook.db so first task is find the album titles and their artist name So this is the diagram of sample database chinook.db. We want to find the artist name and their album name. So this information is present in two different tables, artists and albums. So we know that we have to use join. Plus we have this artist ID as common column between these two tables. Okay. So now we know that the common column is artist ID and we have to join artists and album. The statement is that find the album titles and their artist name. Okay, so let's open SQLite. First, we will open chinook.db database. Then we will set mode, output mode as column. And we will keep headers on. Now we can apply the query. So we have this title column name of albums and name of artists. So we will write select title comma name from albums. Now we have to apply join. So we will write inner join artists now we have to define the condition or the common column so we will use on artists dot artist id is equals to albums dot artist id because this is the common column in both tables so this is the result this is the title of album and this is the name of the artist so we got the information that which album belongs to which artist we can write the same query using table alias as we can define a for albums and t for artist now here we don't need to write the full table name. So T dot artist ID is equals to A dot artist ID and we will get the same result. Okay. So next we have find the track ID track name along with their album titles and their artist name. Track ID track name with album titles and their artist name. So we have track ID and track name in tracks table, albums title in albums table and artist name in artist table. So we have to combine these three tables. Now from the diagram we can see that one track can belong to only one album but a single album can has many tracks. And one artist can has many albums while one album can belong to only one artist so this is the relation between these three tables now we have to write the query so write select track id t dot name a dot title and s dot name these are the aliases which I will now define with tables name from tracks T inner join. Now we have to join the tracks with albums and the common column is album ID. Okay, so inner join albums and we have alias of albums as A using album id because the 
column name is same so I can use album ID. Now we have to combine this albums with artists and the common column is artist ID. So I will write inner join artists and the alias of artists is S using artist ID. So we have selected the columns which we want to include in our output. This T dot name is tracks name because T is the alias of tracks. A dot title is the album title. A is the alias of albums and S dot name is the artist name. S is the alias of artist and then uh, we have combined first two tables using album id because album id is the common column between albums and tracks and we have combined album and artist using artist id because this is the common column between these two tables we will just add the brackets because it works different with different dialects so i think in sqlite we need to add brackets with using Okay, so there are a lot of tracks, so that's why it is taking very long to show the result. We can just apply as limit 10. Okay, now you can see that this is the track ID, this is the name of the track, and then this is the title of the album from which these tracks belong, and this is the name of the artist. Now you can see that all these first 10 tracks belong to the same album, and that album belongs to the same artist. So maybe we can write some offset here as 18. Now you can see that these tracks belong to this album and this is the name of the artist and these tracks belong to this album and this is the name of the artist. Okay. Next query is list the names of all the artists and their album names if any. So we have to list the names of all the artists and their album names if any. Like if they have albums then mention it otherwise if they don't have no problem. So because we have to mention the names of all the artists it means that we need to use left join. So we will write the query as select name title I am not using alias here table alias here because the column names are different in both tables from artists left join albums and using artist id because that is the common column so we get this result okay now I want to show you that for some artists we don't have any albums we have for those artists who do not have any albums because we have applied left outer join it includes the matching values where it has artist id in both table plus those values of artist table that do not has matching value in albums table because we have used left join and artist table is the left table so it includes all the artists even if they don't have any album okay here this is left join so in sqlite we don't write it as left outer join we only have a left join we don't have right join or outer join in sqlite but we can use left join for both like if we have to apply right join we can just change the position of these tables we can write album first and artist here so it will give the same result as with the right join and for full auto join we can apply union between two left joins like first here artist table is the left table and in second query the albums table will be the left table and then we can apply union between these two queries and we will get the result of full outer join because we don't have direct full outer and right outer join available in sqlite they are available in other rdbms but not in sqlite but it is not a problem because we can solve those queries using left join as well by just changing the position of these tables. Okay.
So next we have display the employee information on who is the direct report of whom. Okay, so this is the employees table and here we have the column of reports to. Reports to means that which employee is reporting to whom. So you can see that there is a relation within this table that this employee ID is present here in reports to as well. Because of course, if person A is reporting to person B, both of these are employees. So, their employees IDs are present in the employee ID column. So, we have to apply self-join here. So, let's first write the query. Okay, so we will write the query as select m dot first name as manager this is the alias of this column comma e dot first name as direct report because there is a space in the name of alias so we will use quotes from employees e inner join employees m on m dot employee id is equals to e dot reports to order by manager Okay, so let's run this query and we got this result. Now this result is showing that Nancy is reporting to Andrew means Andrew is the manager of Nancy, Andrew is the manager of Michael. Then Jane is reporting to Nancy, Nancy is the manager of Jane and Nancy is also the manager of Steve and Margaret. It means that these people are reporting to these people. So actually how this query is working, you can see that we have applied inner join between employees itself, which is a single table, but we have defined alias of this employees as E and this employees as M. And now we are joining on the condition that where this M dot employee ID is equals to E dot reports to, because in reports to column, we have the same IDs which are in employee ID because these are the employees and the information is present in the employees table as well. Okay, so let's just select employee ID first name comma reports to from employees. Okay, so this is the information from employees table. I have retrieved the information of these three columns, employee ID, first name and reports to. I want to show you that how this query is working. So when it's written that employee E inner join employees and it means that employee will have a cross product with itself. Okay. So I'm writing here as again employee ID first name and reports to because this table is multiplying with itself okay so here i will just give you example of uh, one relating rows like here i am multiplying this second row with the third row because when there will be a cross product each row of this table is multiplied with every row of this table again with itself actually again so i'm multiplying with employee id 2 with 3 so here we have this 2 nancy 1 and now i will write this employee id 3 and we have jane and then we have 2. so when the second row will be multiplied with the third row we will get the row like this now if you see on the conditions here that m dot employee id is equals to e dot report to now this is the e table because we have referred to first employees as e let me write it here that this is e table where we have employee ID first name and reports so and this is m 
okay when this row will be multiplied with this row if you see on this condition that m dot employee id is equals to e dot reports to now m dot employee id is 3 and e dot reports to is 1 so this condition is false we will not include it so actually this 3 doesn't match with any of these e dot reports to values okay so we will just remove it now we are multiplying this second row with this first row so we will write one and zero and we don't have any information in reports to here because maybe this is the senior most person and he is not reporting to anyone so now if you see that m dot employee id this is the m dot employee id let me write again that this is m and this is e this table is e and here i am writing for m now m dot employee id is 1 and e dot reports to is 1 as well so now they are matching okay so we have to write information as m dot first name as manager so in manager we will write andrew and e dot first name as direct report and in direct report we will write the first name from e which is nancy so it means that Nancy is reporting to Andrew. Andrew is the manager of Nancy. In a similar way, when you will have a complete cross product of this table with itself, you can apply this condition. You will refer to these three columns as E and the, again these three columns as M here. And when you will apply this condition, so where this condition will be satisfied, you will get those rows like we got here as Nancy is reporting to entry. So in this way this self join operation is working and from this query we are getting information that which employee is reporting to which employee and because this information is present only in one table so we need to apply self join on this table. So these were the different tasks related to join. I hope you understand.